street giant's loyal army of older female shoppers back at the heart of its clothing business. Steve Rowe, who took over as chief executive last month, calls the women Mrs. M&S, and he says they've been a bit neglected. Shares in the company dipped today as he warned the turnaround would hit profits. Emma Simpson has more. M&S through the ages. Twiggy in the 60s, flares in the 70s. Oh, how the fashions have changed. So too have shopping habits. This business has been losing shoppers for more than four years. So who are they targeting today? The new boss says she's Mrs. M&S. She can be a, a, a working mum. She can be uh, just about to approach her retirement. But what's clear is that she appreciates good things in life. She is looking for great garments that fit and flatter. Steve, would Mrs. M&S wear something like this? Yeah, Mrs. M&S is, is going to be really keen on that. It's a great cut, gilet type garment. It's really of the moment. We love, cherish and celebrate Mrs. M&S and I commit to making sure we're listening to her and not telling her what to wear, but listening to what she wants and making sure we deliver that. The right garments, the right price, at the right time. It's your Here's some of those customers he wants to win back. They made this video in 2014, singing a song of frustration. Our m &S, not their m &S, but they don't seem to care m &S. And they feel just as strongly today. They just seem to have lost their way in what they're producing for the older woman. I don't particularly think of myself as old and I like fashion. I don't ever find anything for me. I end up in the more trusted section and the, what I feel is a bit more boring and the safe option. Steve Rowe, who's worked his way up from the shop floor, is now taking a new approach. Less high fashion, more wearable styles and at better prices. And he's listening. Let's see what this customer had to say. Where is the direction coming from? I just think it's very, very confusing for, for us ladies to find out what we're looking for and we want to be loyal M&S customers. Uh, this lady is absolutely typical of Mrs M&S. Um, it's fantastic. I mean, you can hear that she cares passionately about the brand. She wants us to do well and we've been letting her down. But is he on the right track with Mrs M&S? I think it's simplifying the issue really. What I think what we're looking at now is a billion pound retail industry that everybody wants a slice of. It's an international market. A woman can buy anything from any high street in the world thanks to online. This turnaround is going to dent profits, but the new boss believes it's the right thing to do to secure Marks and Spencer's long-term success. Emma Simpson, BBC News. France has 